I'm gonna paint that. Well, nice stuff at the stop side, people. I'm gonna try to get a coat on it. Thing in service. Yeah, but it is Friday, so, you know, I had to go get my Starbucks. All right, good morning. So I'm going into my classroom right now and because we start back tomorrow, but you know, I gotta get stuff ready and I was not gonna go today. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go. They're giving us two work days. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna be enough. I don't know, it could be. I don't have to settle all that stuff up. I really just gotta like, take all the stuff that I put away and put it back out again. You know what I mean? It's pretty easy. Like I'm just gonna go in and get, stuff done and so but I did bring um that gray paint that I brought last year because there was a there's a cabinet I don't know why not a cabinet but a um a shelf I don't know why I never painted it so I'm gonna paint that well nice stuff at the stop side people so I'm gonna try to get a coat on it it was the one that was right behind my table like when I would film like it would be right behind me so I'm gonna paint that gray to match the other ones and then I'm gonna try to unload as much stuff like unload I mean unpack and like get everything put back where it belongs as much as I can. I'm not planning to stay a super long time. I just figured it would give me a head start. And then tomorrow we have, uh, we start our in services tomorrow. So I have in service on Thursday, work day on Friday. I don't remember what happens Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Because we start on Thursday, like, and we start back tomorrow, which is Thursday teachers do and then students will start the following Thursday so I can't remember I know we have I know we have two days of in-service I mean, we have two days of, of work days or three days I don't know anyway whatever um, so anyway, so I'm gonna run in and get this done so let's get into my classroom I'm almost there not really <laughs> so I have not filmed on this thing in the classroom <laughs> So lighting might be a little bit of an issue. So I came in and there's like a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it's for. <laughs> so they have all the socks and stuff here on the table, but they only gave me 10 of each, it looks like. And I'm assuming it's first, yeah, it's first grade. So I'm really confused by that part, but whatever. And then um, this is that shelf I was talking about. I need to do, I'll do that in a second. <gasps> My new chair's here. So I, I ordered a new chair. <laughs> So, let me show you a new chair. Yeah, yeah. And it had arms that like went above, I think. Yes, it did. So, it was nice because it went above like the table. So, it went above the table so that way I can turn. It still kind of hits every once in a while, but the other one I couldn't turn at all. I don't know what they did in here, but my Chromebook cart is gone. So, they must be either fixing the Chrome cart, Chromebooks. Maybe they're setting them all up. But yeah, so like that whole area is empty now. <laughs> Not sure where everything went. Let's try to get some stuff done. So here we go.
coat, put on that. I'm gonna do another coat before I leave. I've gotten some stuff set up over here, over there. Got that back area and the rug and all that kind of set up a little bit. I went through and took out all the third grade stuff that I had and it's now sitting over here in a huge pile. All third grade. It's a lot of material. So, and then this is, I know Saxon stuff is here. The math is here. I'm assuming I have to get, like before, I have to get the reading stuff from the other first grade teacher. That's how we did it before. So I think it's the same thing. Turn the air conditioner on. Cause, like, I don't know if you guys knew this, like I've talked about it before, but the thermostat's in the room next door. So I went over there, turned it down. So that way it was a little cooler in here, but we'll see. And I'm trying to do like, and not mess up my nails. I just did them yesterday. I got these nail stickers for my birthday that Inwardy got them for me. And I really like them. So what I did was I put two coats of matte top coat down and then I stuck the sticker down and then two more coats of it. And it's a gel, it's a Sally Hansen gel, miracle gel or something. So I'm gonna see if I can get another coat on now so I can get out of here. Cause I got quite a bit done, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and get out of here. And then tomorrow will be a work day. So, or not work day, tomorrow will be in service. So I won't be probably filming very much. So I'll see you guys later. Starbucks, gonna get started for you. Yeah, I had a mobile order for Jeremy. Jeremy, perfect. Yep. We'll have it in the window. Okay, thank you. All right, good morning. So, we have another in service today, but it's like a building in service. And, but it is Friday, so you know, I had to go get my Starbucks and I had the free drink, so I got um, a shaken espresso with oat milk and toffee nut syrup, which I need to mix it up. But um, I'm going in early so I can get some stuff done in my classroom. <laughs> And my intern's not gonna be here today, so I won't have any of that help. I'm I'm sh I'm certain, since it's a building in service, that they're gonna give us time to work in our rooms. That's what they usually do. But I don't want to rely on it because it does say it's a whole day. But if I know my peeps, <laughs> we're gonna get some work time in our classroom. So I had a couple ideas in my brain last night. Well, I was just getting ready to go to bed. So I kind of got some ideas of some things to do with this channel. Like I feel like it's getting very um, monotonous or like the same thing. Hold on, they're doing road construction, so hold on. Um, I had this idea since I have been doing my nails and stuff, and I do my skincare stuff, which I don't know if it's working or not, but um, just kind of telling you, like, for one thing, I thought it'd be cool to do um, nails for men, like kind of showing men how to do nails in an inexpensive and quick way, I guess, um, since kind of that's what I've been doing lately. And, um, and like maybe like what nail polish I like and that kind of stuff. Because I feel like on YouTube and TikTok and stuff, there are so many women that do this and it doesn't always apply. Like not all of the things that they do apply to men because generally they have longer nails than I do. It's maybe a total stupid idea. Just let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, I'm trying to get, trying to get us some new ideas. So I thought about doing like skincare, like for like the Gen Xers, because, <laughs> because you know, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I was one that grew up not wearing sunscreen. And so, I mean, I, was, I wore it like when we went to the beach or like if we went to the, pool or I wore sunscreen but I didn't wear sunscreen on my face like during the daytime and stuff and that's so I have like these um, parts up here that have sun damage on them and I think they're going away <laughs> maybe in my mind they are um, and so I've been using certain products and so I thought it'd be fun to share kind of those things so let me know if you guys are interested in maybe some nails and some skincare maybe a little bit of makeup
we had our in service so I went in this morning got some stuff out which you guys kind of saw and then we did all the in service stuff which wasn't a lot I kind of knew it wasn't going to be because it was a building in service and so they're a little bit more lenient on those kind of things so I got some time at the end of the day to work on my classroom which my intern was not there today so I didn't get the help from that which is fine I put all the desks out um, I thought I had more name tags and I didn't so I found these other name tags that were left in my classroom from you guys remember back from the flipping whatever that was that was in there that hot mess I had to clean through um, I found some old ones of those but they already had an alphabet strip at the top of them but because we use Saxon they want us using the Saxon strips because they match what the program uses so I just went ahead and took the strips taped them over the top of the nameplate thing and call that good. And then I'm trying to figure out what to do. I was gonna put the, my word wall back up, but I think I'm actually gonna move it over to a different area. So it's like a writing area for the kids to be in. Um, and that would be, I'll, I need to plan it out in my head. So, but I think that I wanna keep the story elements and the nonfiction text features behind me at my table on that wall where they're at now, because that way when I'm doing guided reading and stuff, I can reference them right behind me. I do need to get stuff ready so that when we have open house on Wednesday, um, I can get all that sort of, so, like, have them come in and then put the supplies that they brought into there, but, anyway. So, anyway, um, so, yeah, that was it. So, anyway, I'm going to close out. I hope you guys liked what you saw. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the little bell notification, yada, yada, yada. Follow me on my social media. Until next time, always be you. Bye.